Yeah, um, thanks for being here. You know, a good but a uh, challenging road weekend for us to open up Mountain West play. Um, San Jose State Thursday night drew with them one to one. A great goal from Presley Devi, um, outshot the Spartans, and then Sunday played Fresno State, uh, drew zero zero with them again, out shooting them. Um, but some really great individual moments, some really great team moments, um, which is exciting. And at the end of the day, walked away with two points on the road. So um, it is, is always a difficult thing to do. Um, and then looking forward to this week, super excited about Thursday evening. Um, like Allison said, our, our childhood cancer match um, against uh, Colorado College, uh, super, it's, it's a special event for us, um, something we started doing about nine years ago in conjunction with our honorary captain program. Um, and really what it is, is it's, it's a chance um, to, to bring in a young child who is battling cancer. Um, and for the day they get to come and be part of our team, they get to be on the bench, they get to do the coin toss, um, and just not think about having cancer for the, for the evening. And for our players, it's a great experience for them to interact with them, to have them around, um, and a little bit keep things in perspective for us. So during the game, we'll be selling um, shirts. All the funds raised will go towards, or will be donated to the Childhood Cancer Center here in New Mexico, um, which is really cool. And then we'll wrap, we'll wrap up the weekend against Air Force on Sunday. Air Force is currently sitting on top of the league, tied with a few other teams, but will be another challenging weekend for us uh, in Mountain West play. We're really looking forward to it, though. Coach, this is starting with Thursday. Um, just worth where Colorado College is at in the season, and just you guys obviously have bigger stuff going on um, as well. So how do you just not overlook a team like Colorado College coming in here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Colorado College is a great team, you know, and I think I think it's easy to look at results and records and all of that. But at the end of the day, every team that we see in Mountain West play is going to is going to be a, a challenging game. Um, and we saw that this, this past weekend and we'll continue to see that every weekend throughout. So um, I think for us, it's it's one game at a time. Absolutely. Um, and and to look overlook Colorado College would be a big mistake. So we're certainly um, that game, one game at a time, and then we'll move on to the next. And then on the flip side, I mean, you got a team on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. I mean, is there any sort of rhythm that you can kind of get in just going from a team like Colorado College to Air Force? No, I mean, again, one one game at a time, right? And and I think it's still so early in the conference that while there is a little bit of separation, um, <laughs> it really doesn't mean much. So I think we prepare for each team as we would as if they're the top of the conference. Uh, we'll do that with Colorado College and, and we'll do that with Air Force as well. Coach, I wanted to go back to the Fresno State game as well. I know Allie Davis kind of had to get stepped up pretty early and also Kennedy Brown, it looked like. How, how are they both doing and what does that look like for Thursday's game? Yeah, you know, they're both they're both doing well. Al was out moving around a little bit today. Um, KB was on the bike moving her legs a little bit, which is a great sign for us. We're hopeful, um, you know, they're, they're on the mend. Um, we're hopeful that, that Thursday might be a possibility, but we'll play it day by day and, and uh, see where they're at when the game rolls around. What have you learned from your team that the amount of tight games have been in, new players, new positions, of how, you know, how they're growing and knowing that every game can just be 0-0, you know, zero, zero, one zero at yeah, I think um, if you look at our non-conference schedule, we, we had a lot of really tight games. We've had games where we've come from behind. We've had games where we're, we've been ahead and we've lost the lead and we've come back to win. Games where we've had to fight back into the game. Um, and so I think I think what we're learning through through our non-conference schedule and then into the first week of conference is that, that we, can, we can grind our ways back into games or we can get a lead and, and, and sit in a little bit and, and hold the lead and fight through it a little bit. But um, the experience is invaluable, especially for our young players, especially for our inexperienced players, um, to, to see that because they, they haven't necessarily seen that before. Um, so it, it's great experience for them. The way that Pence Presley really starting to get comfortable in the offense and kind of being one of those players that can step up. Sorry, say that again. Uh, Debbie, how about you just kind of see her really start to take those strides off the team? Yeah, it's, it's great. It's great to see Press do that. Press is a weapon, um, and she can hit the ball with both feet from distance. I mean, we saw at home um, a few weekends ago, she hit one from just about half field, which was, <laughs> which was a, really, a really cool goal, and then this weekend against San Jose State. So for Press to kind of find a rhythm and find herself in good spots and start to take chances, um, hitting the ball has been really fun to see.